Today I want to go over quickly some common mistakes and issues that students have when they try to write in APA format. This is really important because APA format, especially um, within the social sciences professions, is extremely helpful in making sure that everybody's writing is clear, concise, and has a common formatting um, style. So as we go through this, um, I'm just going to highlight like basic things of APA formatting. You're going to have to research APA format on your own um, to get more details and to be able to understand it a little bit better. So here are some of the common mistakes that students make when they are trying to use APA format. The first one is not using Times New Roman. They'll either use the default um, font that is in Microsoft Word or whatever word processing program they use, um, and they won't change it to Times New Roman. This is important because the whole reason for APA formatting is to make things standardized, um, and or they'll use a less than or greater than 12 point font. Obviously, that's not going to be a, a, a passable APA formatting for font. Um, also, there's also a, an extra space that students use between paragraphs, and the font style and the spacing is going to be discussed in the next slide. And then citing sources is really big in APA format because you're basically saying that this is the place that you got information, and if you don't cite your sources, then basically you're saying that you came up with that information. And if you didn't, then that's plagiarism. So we don't want to get you with intentional or unintentional plagiarism. So make sure you cite your sources. A lot of students don't use in-text citations, and that can be an issue. So I want to point out a few concerns or a few issues with in-text citations. First, the, the first one is that students will use the author um, and their first initial. Um, that's not APA format or they'll use the, the website name as part of their citation, and that's also not the format. Um, the actual format for citing authors or websites is here. So you'll see that um, with an author and a name and the date, you put in the date and only the last name. Um, the, for a website that doesn't have uh, an author or that doesn't have a date, then you make sure that you put it in the format that's described there. Now, <clears throat> all of this information is found on the Purdue Online Writing Lab, and I'll give you the actual citation for that particular website um, for you to go to and get more help for, or more, more help from um, later. And then this is citing authors um, from research articles or books. And again, you'll notice that there is no um, first initials in these. It's just the last name and or a string of last names. And so you'll want to pay attention to that. So the other thing is that some um, students don't use an APA formatted reference page. So again, I want you to go to the online, online writing lab from Purdue to find out what that reference page looks like and use that as your standard. And then the title page is also not APA formatted. So um, some students will create this really big fancy um, title page with lots of different colored font and different sized font and different fonts in general. And that's not APA format. That's actually more distracting when you're writing in the social sciences than it's worth. Those are things that you would do for pamphlets or invitations or other things like that. And basically all we're doing is we're writing context and content and we want to get it out as clearly and concisely as possible. Now here is the website for the online writing lab for Purdue. Um, the actual citation for that website is right up here. So at the top, so you'll want to pay attention to that. So I wanted to go over a few of the common defaulting formatted formats that Microsoft Word provides for you when you open up a new document because sometimes this will throw off your APA formatting completely. So um, pay attention to some of these common mistakes that take place. 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up a blank document. And so you'll see here that the default is Calibri and it's 11 point font. Many times the default um, margins are not one inch wide, but 1.25 on the left and the right. So you want to go into the design um, or the layout, sorry, and check the margins and make sure that it's one inch all around because that is APA format. Once you've made sure that that's taken place, go back to the home tab, then you should fix your formatting, your font to 12 point font. And then you should fix your spacing to two inch uh, or double spaced. And then go into here in the paragraph tab here and make sure that this here, don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is clicked. That would put your document in APA format. So let me show you what that looks like. Just a moment. Okay, so what I did is I wrote a few things and I reset everything back to words default. And as you can see, um, there's quite a big difference. So I'm going to go back here to home. It's back in Calibri. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this, change it to Times New Roman, 12 point font. You notice there's an extra space there, but watch how what it looks like with double spacing. So you can double, you can tell that there's an extra space there based on just the difference with the double spacing and the extra space. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy all of that or select all of that, don't add a space, see what that changes. All right, for some reason that didn't work. Let's see here. There we go. So that removes the spacing between paragraphs, so it should all be double-spaced. And then if you notice, right up here, the margins are 1.25. And I'm going to go back to Layout, go to Margins, and right here it says the Office 2003 default. We don't want the default, we want it to be one inch all around, and that will change it. All right, so that is basically getting your paper all set up to have it ready for APA format. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I will be happy to help. Or contact the Academic Success Center um, so you can get help with your writing there. Thank you very much. Bye.